Now from the coast of England and Royal Liverpool Golf Club, this is EA Sports continuing coverage of the world of golf. With Frank Navalo by my side, I'm Rich Lerner. Frank, as weekend golfers know, there's always part of your game that you're focused on. So I'll ask the question, what are you going to be looking at here today? Tee to green, Rich. I, I know people always say putting's important. I'm not going to say it's overrated, but tee to green. If you want to play good golf day in, day out, fairways greens, that's the secret. And that will settle in the bunker. So an early test here at the first. Yeah, normally you'd rather the uh, the early test come a little later on in the round, uh, but you know he should have a better than average chance to go for the green from here. Now, coming out of the bunker, just couldn't get enough club head on the ball and comes up well short. for pace, but boy, you really would have liked that one to go down. You always start the round with such high hope, with optimism, and it can be gone in a blink. That is a double bogey here at number one. The second at 453 yards. This is a tough hole. Precision is a must off the tee because the landing area is a small one and features three very penal bunkers. The green is also well protected with three more bunkers and the putting surface itself is anything but flat. And there's a good first step to start making up some ground after the troubles at one. A picture perfect drive here at the second. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. I own this a birdie putt. Yeah, it's a long putt, so pace is important, but there's not a whole lot to it. I fancy the chances of getting this close. Okay, I didn't quite get it there, but that's a decent effort. So that could likely calm the nerves after the rocky opening hole. It's a par here at the second. The third of four consecutive par fours to start this front side is the 426 yard third hole. Pot bunkers aren't the problem here as they were in the first two holes, but thick rough is. A tee shot that takes the dog leg too sharply can leave one with a very difficult approach or even worse, wind up out of bounds. While there's good bounces, there's bad bounces. That was a good one. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. Yes, we have 140 yards left to the flag. Pin in the back right portion of this green. Hmm, not sure what happened there. Wrong club selection or execution. Regardless, a lot of meat still on that bone. Oh, short game early in the round has definitely been an issue. Mm. 
Well, that, not his finest effort, and it's going to leave a very anxious puck to say bogey. Oh, yeah, really well done there. That was definitely more than a knee knocker, but it is in for bogey. The last of the consecutive par fours to grace this front side is this one, the 367-yard fourth. It's the shortest of the four by a considerable margin. Most golfers should be able to cover the fairway bunkers and be left with just a short iron in. Oh, and that one nosedives right into the thick stuff. That could be problematic, to say the least. Uh, a little disappointing from that range. I really thought you could hit one in there tight, but instead, once again, tough two-part now. That's what you want to do. Good lag. Yeah, they can't all go in. That's so nearly a birdie, but par is all he'll have to show for it. Now to the first of Royal Liverpool's three par fives. It is the dog leg left, 520 yard fifth hole. Tee shots that can navigate the gorse to the left and the pot bunkers to the right should open up this green to be reachable in two. By most accounts, this is the best birdie opportunity on this opening nine. This one starting up that left side. Oh, he gets a little lucky there and even bounces back into the fairway. Oh, that's not going to be good. That ball was waving at the hole as it whizzed past. Now this for birdie. And this one might need a little bit extra encouragement, Rich, to make it up this slope, but all in all, not too difficult to putt. Well, that's good touch right there. Disappointment there. I'll brush it in, and that'll be just a par. The first par three of the round is here at the 201-yard sixth. Two pot bunkers left and one right of the green are to be avoided at all costs. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Two over for the day. The seventh now at 481 yards, par four. Hot bunkers left and right are definitely in play off the tee. Even if you end up in the fairway, the second shot is a demanding one, partially blind over a large tract of gorse and potentially two pot bunkers left. And 
that. A good looking shot there. Well placed in the fairway. So now from the left side of the fairway, this is a second shot. Nothing wrong with that approach shot. Just a little shy of where you'd like to finish up, but still, one good putt, maybe a birdie. Mm, that's good putt right there. That's a birdie, and it is back to one over now for the round. On to the eighth, a par four at 436 yards. It features a familiar refrain, avoid the pot bunkers and the tall gorse. Doing so with your drive should leave a short iron in to a green protected by one bunker left and two to the right. That one flirting with the left edge of the fairway. You know, errant tee shot here, Rich, but going to have to muscle this one out of the rough. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. He's left himself with 143 yards to the hole, coming off a birdie at the previous hole, looking to go back to back. Well, it just comes up a little shy of the flag, but all in all, a good shot out of that rough. Well, I own has had a good look. Now this for birdie. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. Putt right there, the speed was spot on, but it was just a fraction off liner. That would have gone in. That is so nearly a birdie, but far is all he'll have to show for it. The ninth hole at 218 yards of par three. Bunkers front left and right protect a fairly narrow green that features more than its share of humps and hollows. And that's certainly not what you have in mind standing on the tee box. That never had a chance of hitting the green. Fifteen feet away. Well done right there. A good save for Carr at the ninth. And that's going to be a one over score of 36 on this outward nine. The back nine here at Royal Liverpool kicks off with a long one at 507 yards. It's a par four. The landing area is a tough one to navigate. It's narrow. It has mounds. And it has thick rough left and right. Up near the green, the bunker front and right is incredibly deep and must be avoided at all costs. While sitting on an upslope here, you've got to be careful that you don't get this one straight up in the air from that line. The 11th runs along the beach to the left, and this is a tough driving hole. A par four at 392 yards. The short length will likely entice most to air it out, but the more prudent play might be a three-wood or an iron 
because the small landing area gets tighter the further down the fairway you travel. As picturesque as they come, that is right down the middle. So the great tee shot left him here, now his second from relatively close range. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap in is now going to be a grind. Yeah, that's a good putt. Had a few troubles there around the green, but it will wind up being a par. The 12th at 449 yards is a dog leg left par four. Those that try to chew off too much of that dog leg could find themselves in trouble if they're unable to carry the gorse. The approach will be to an elevated green that slopes fairly severely from back to front. Now well, that was 50-50 off the tee. Rough fairway. I guess it was more than 50-50. Fairway's fine. Now, Noda, his second from the fairway. Looking at 148 to the hole, pin sitting on the left half of the green. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. This one measures out to 15 feet. Oh, what a read. It was spot on, coming sharply to the right. And that's a very good par save right there. The 13th is a par three of 194 yards. It yields another panoramic look at Hillbury Island and the estuary beyond. But this could be a tricky little hole. Tee shots that land in that front right pot bunker rarely lead to a par. A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. So now this, right around 25 feet for birdie. Gonna wander off to the right and leave maybe two, three feet coming back. Disappointment there. And that'll brush it in, and that'll be just a par. The 14th is a dog leg left, par four at 454 yards. Ideally, your drive should stay as close to the dog leg as possible, but middle of the fairway is just fine if it can avoid any of the four pot bunkers in the landing zone. The green, thankfully, is bunker free, but it does fall off somewhat sharply to the right. This started toward the left side. So can he capitalize on the break here? His second from the short grass.
Well, Rich, it looked like he just took the normal club that he would have out of the fairway, but you've always got to take at least one less when it looks like a fly alive. A little conversation, and, and you've had these before, Frank, between the player and the caddy right there. Maybe they should have gone down a club. And that is not the worst shot in the world, but obviously could have been better. Certainly. Definitely hoping to try and get inside three feet, but uh, it's a little outside that. that one just going to sneak on by. Well, he was flirting with even par, thinking if he made a birdie, he'd be at level. Came into this hole at one over and with the double, all the way to three over par. The 15th is the longest hole on the course, checking it at a full 620 yards. The fairway is fairly generous by Royal Liverpool standards, though it does feature bunkers left and right. The issues tend to develop on the second shot, where you'll need to commit one way or the other to going for it or laying up. And this a tee shot that fits the eye, and that'll be just fine. Well, just a good solid shot right there with that three wood, Frank. That's an aggressive layup, really trying to force that three wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the par five. And that'll do just fine. The putter has not been at its best, but this a good look for birdie. Yeah, can't take those for granted. Good concentration there, and it's in for a birdie. The final three-hole stretch begins with a par 4 16th at 461 yards. Most players should be able to move their tee shots beyond the three fairway bunkers, but more await up toward the green, five of them in total. So that ball nestles down in the rough. Just got away a little bit on that tee ball. Ball appears to be sitting up here in the rough at the 16th hole. Decent lie, but you just won't be able to get it to spin. See what he can do now with this, his second shot. Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Sat down fairly quick as well. Good shot. Yeah, good concentration there. That's a distance where a putt could get away, but that in for a par. Now to one of the more visually stunning holes on the course, the par 317 at 136 yards. This has everything you want in a classic par three and a lot that you don't including steep runoffs, deep bunkers, and a tricky green to putt on. A chance maybe to just throw something up high for his second. Way too good, I must say. That was uh, just smashed. Oh, sizable putt left. Oh, how about the read there? Nothing easy about that one, but bottom of the barrel, and that's an excellent par save. 
This is a big time test. The closing hold here at Royal Liverpool, a demanding par five at 609 yards. Two deep bunkers need to be avoided off the tee. Then the fun begins. A second shot needs to navigate a tough dog leg to the right before it emerges in front of gathered masses surrounding a green with no fewer than five deep pot bunkers in play. That is not the spot to be. Well, the second shot wasn't on target, but the third was a thing of beauty, especially out of the heavy rough. Now a good look at Birdie. Yeah, it's a birdie at the last. And this will be a one over par round of 72. So, partner, as always, I enjoyed it. Watching golf, calling golf. Let's do it again soon.